So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Shawana. Uh, thank you, Felicia. And thank you, City Council, um, for the honor and privilege of being selected as a nonprofit to operate the Conway's first overnight emergency shelter. Um, CAPC has been serving low-income individuals in Faulkner County for over 60, uh, not 65, 56 years. And um, as a community action agency, our goal has always been to work in collaboration with our community, not to duplicate services, but to work hand-in-hand -hand, um, with ex existing service providers and partners um, to refer and to fill gaps as we see the gaps. So this shelter will do just that, falling in line with our mission and offering a one-stop shop to access programs, services, partners, and aid in our coordinated entry efforts across the community. As part of our continuum care, each member of the Totesuck Homeless Coalition focuses on important, on an important piece necessary in our community to successfully eradicate homelessness. We know we cannot do this alone. The overnight emergency shelter is just one vital piece in this process, and we are so proud to stand here today with our partners, the city, and celebrate this vision come to fruition. So thank you guys so much. We're so excited. Brenton Evans with Little Farm Architecture. I, I kind of follow Felicia's uh, <laughs> model here. I don't do much public speaking, so I'll keep it short. But mostly I want to thank Mayor, City Council uh, for letting us team up with you on this project. It's been a real pleasure. Uh, we really enjoyed working with Felicia, Shawana, Jamie, and Kiera when she was here for the, pro the first half of the project. But most of all, you know, we want to thank you, the community. Uh, you are the people that voted these people in place that let us come into your community and work with you on this project. And just thank you to all of you, and we look forward to this facility getting up and going. <laughs> um, I'm Harry with Frank Rogers, and again, we just want to thank Mayor, City Council, Felicia, Shawana, <laughs> for this opportunity. Um, Kyle, who's standing back here in the back, is going to be the project manager and Drew will be our superintendent on the job. Uh, run into him on the street, tell him to get back to work. <laughs> and we'll keep things moving. Last but certainly not least, we have Ms. Shawana Rogers. She's our CDBG administrator. And Shawana has been amazing uh, for this project. She wears a lot of hats for the city of Conway, and we are so grateful to have her on our team. So. <laughs> it's great to be standing here today on this groundbreaking of the overnight emergency shelter. This project has been a long time coming, and it gives us great joy that this day is finally here. One of the national objectives of CDBG is to assist our unhoused neighbors, and for the city of Conway to be an entity to help bring this to pass says a lot about our great city. Kudos to our Mayor Bart Castleberry, our entire city council for voting unanimously to bring this to fruition. Thank you, thank you. We couldn't have done this without you all. Felicia, Jamie, Kiera, and I thank you for giving us this opportunity and entrusting us with this project. And I am most grateful that I get an opportunity to work with such a great team. To our partners, Kafka, who will run the daily operations of the overnight emergency shelter, we look forward to working with you. Although the city will not run the daily operations, we will be hands-on not just with this shelter, but we plan to continue investing in this community. In envisioning this place, we deemed it as a place of love, a place of compassion, understanding, and a jump start at new life. A place where you love your neighbor as you would yourself. Even if it's just for one night, individuals that enter these doors will feel the love and a sense of normalcy and hope. We are excited to break ground today on the city of Conway's first overnight emergency shelter.